Hi, I'm Dr Genevieve Milnes from Psychology Australia. In this session I'll be discussing dementia. Dementia is a serious loss of cognitive ability. Sometimes it's what psychologists call static because it results from events such as brain injury, while at other times it is progressive, which may be due to age, damage or disease. There are four stages of progressive dementia. In the first stage of dementia, people say things like, oh, it's my memory playing up, and may be a bit embarrassed about it, so they cover it with stories. Fred, who is not his real name, was like that. He used to be a tailor. When he forgot where he put his scissors, he would make up stories such as, I don't know where it is, maybe the dog took it, to cover up the fact that he couldn't remember where he put them. When his wife questioned him about it, saying that sounded a bit ridiculous, Fred used to get a little annoyed. In the second stage of dementia, people become more relaxed about their forgetfulness, but they tend to withdraw a bit too. Joan was like that. She stopped thinking about the here and now and started to spend many hours thinking about the happy times she spent on the farm as a child. All her life, Joan was a housewife. She would tell these stories to anyone who'd listen, even if they were not interested. Her stories sometimes seemed out of place. She would say things like, that was before the war, when it was really well after the war. Joan was able to look after herself, but she was constantly getting sidetracked into starting new things to do. For example, she might have been sewing, but then she'd find herself out the back, weeding. In the third stage of dementia, people withdraw even further into the past and become so preoccupied with their memories that they live there. Bertha was at that stage. She'd been a very smart head teacher of a large school. But at this time in life, she was starting to wander off without telling anyone where she was going and spoke as little as she could. In the fourth stage of dementia, people may completely shut out the outside world. Peter, for example, had been a skillful surgeon in his working life, but now he spent hours sitting in a chair staring into thin air and didn't respond to his visitors speaking to him. Thankfully, his family had read a little about dementia and knew that people at this stage could still hear and feel their presence. They often held his hand while singing his favourite tunes to him. It's worth knowing a little bit about dementia. In 2005, it was estimated that 24.3 million people in the world suffered from some form of dementia and that this number is predicted to rise to 81 million by 2040. That's all for this session. Thanks for listening. Remember to visit the Psychology Australia website for lots more free helpful information and a range of online tests.